Hi, doing a little, another one of my videos here. This is actually for, uh, believe it or not, this is for a uh, insurance claim. I do these pretty often, and I usually do a lot of description. Um, this is much easier, and it's just for all the folks at home and stuff that watch my videos or take a look at them. A little bit of ed education for you. Uh, just a little quick background. There's some people, they just bought a home. Uh, actually, it was an apartment complex. Um, not even uh, a couple of months later, they uh, got a leak. They called me on a weekend and uh, said that there was water spraying and to come deal with it. So I came out and uh, what I find, this particular pipe here is uh, the original leak. And let me see if I can get a little close up here. You know how cameras are these days. I'll try to find the, there it is right there. This right here, I'll have to hold it back a little bit so it'll quit defocusing off of it. That right there is the actual original leak. You can see there's no fittings or anything around it. You can also tell that there's not a strap or anything that was touching it at the time to create the leak. It was just a dielectric failure. Now when I was down there, this is a hot water line by the way. This is a hot water line. And so uh, while I was down there, um, I couldn't see anything else in there because uh, I had to shut off the power because uh, you obviously can't go into a crawl space with lighting and water spraying everywhere. But it wasn't so much that as it was. It was really, 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 really misty and smoky down there. And that was mostly because this was a hot water line. So there was, there was clouds of mist everywhere. I could probably see maybe a couple of feet in front of me. That was about it. So um, I uh, immediately took a, cut off this section here. To see about, about how long it is here and uh, went ahead and cut that out and replaced it with a piece of PEX just to uh, secure the leak um, for the emergency call out. I was going to come back and replace this whole line because once you start getting this kind of damage it's the, the whole pipe is damaged that way it is it's not visible but uh, this visible damage but most of the time you can't see it so uh, when I got there now it's going to replace this section, and uh, you'll see here, this is from the same crawl space, and you'll see here, coupler, coupler, that's where the patch was done. Then over here is another pipe, coupler, coupler, with the patch done here, coupler, 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 you know, and I started looking around, and I was like, oh my god, and I started to realize that, uh, that there's this damage everywhere all over the system. I was like, oh God, we got to cut all this out. Otherwise, we're going to keep having these breakouts like this. So I went in and cut all this pipe out uh, wherever I found these and wound up replacing, um, you know, everything you see here. And as a matter of fact, when you look over here, see that discoloration right there? That That's actually the start of new leaks. Uh, that's what that stuff is right there. And uh, as you can see, there's nothing touching it or anything that was holding it on there at the time nothing to create the leak um, here's another patch that was done you know uh, except it was done with a compression coupler and uh, you know just just flat out you know this the system had a lot of problems uh, the only way to stop it is to um, is actually to uh, replace the pipe with plastic pipe and uh, the reason you do that is because when you replace it with a plastic pipe, it stops the dielectric process that continues that. Here you can see some more of that, more of this discoloration here. So you can see uh, where more of it was going to start breaking out on her. So anyhow, um, the PEC stops the dielectric process. The problem is actually not a plumbing problem, it's an electrical problem. Uh, it, the, the, the installs were done to code, everything was done correct at the time. Uh, but uh, the truth is, is that uh, they realized it. In about the mid 90s or so, early 90s, they realized that there was a problem, and that's why they require two ground rods now instead of one. Anyways, uh, that's the best I can tell you. This explains the story, and uh, yeah, you can kind of see here it's starting to open up a little bit more there. So it was a good thing I, and you can see actually on the inside of the pipe here, you can see all that, that kind of greening there. Yeah, you can see it's even worse than this one. It, it just affects all of it. Matter of fact, Alaska Club had to cut out and replace all of their plumbing uh, just for exactly the same reason. Houses built, I think, in the 
I think it's the early 70s, mid 70s, all the way to the probably mid to late 80s are subject to this kind of problem. So if you're buying a new place, get under there and look for those couplers that are close to each other like that. Because they're close to each other like this, that means somebody's repaired a break in the line. So, um, you know, if you see bunches of them, you might want to make sure that you're not having electrolysis. Sometimes you might see double, the only other case that you would see like these two like this is that somebody broke a freeze point that may have frozen and broke. Um, but that's obvious because when you look at the lines, they'll have a white haze to them and the joints won't have a clear, won't have clear solder. You know, these are kind of ugly solders, but still they're, you know, clear. Whereas if it's froze, it would have kind of, if it froze, it would have kind of a white haze to it. Anyways, um, that's about all I can tell you. Um, sort of par for the course. It's not due to, uh, anything anybody does. It just kind of happens. All right, well, that's the best I could tell you. Thanks. Bye.